In remote parts of Africa, teams from Silver Logistics make extraordinary deliveries of life-saving malaria medication to isolated communities and villages. My name is Alma David. I work for Silver Logistics Africa as a logistics officer, mostly based in the field, running projects. I personally, I feel to myself it's a privilege because I really wanted to help my people. These facilities where we're going to are the facilities which are, are not being supported by the government. So it was never easy for the population around fighting malaria. So it's very important I'm seeing my people feel that they are now being supported and they are having this help. Deliveries to remote village clinics provide complex logistical challenges, from non-existent infrastructure to unpredictable regional conflict. Our silver teams focus on delivering each and every box of malaria medication to these vulnerable and isolated communities. Rain is the major challenge when it comes to transportation. During the rainy season, roads become flooded and whole areas can be extremely difficult to reach. Flooding is not something that lasts in the days, in the weeks, or in a month. Sometimes it goes a period of time, like uh, five months, six months. So, SIVA teams use creative solutions to deliver the medication. This can mean traveling by bicycle or even carrying packages by hand. During the flood season, the team works with the communities on the ground. Locally made canoes are often the only mode of transport to final destination. They always find a way to successfully complete the last mile delivery. And it's not just the infrastructure on the ground that's challenging. You know, for you to get to these places, you, you first need to have communication with the people who are in charge who are going to receive these things. Sometimes you, you, you won't talk to them, but it's not easy, no network. Poor network coverage makes it hard to communicate with the clinics in remote areas and can delay delivery. The person will not be like all the time waiting for you at a facility. Or, you know, some of these times he's doing other work that he's supposed to be doing for himself. So when you don't have network, it's hard really to get to reach to him and communicate that we're coming. You have to go and look for him manually. Safety is always Siva's number one priority. Our teams are dedicated to delivering these important packages safely and efficiently. You make, you, make, you make sure that you make uh, communications, uh, channels with the people, the securities around that if they're okay, the place is okay that you can reach to, that's when you can go there. With such unique challenges and limited technology available, planning is key to getting the medicine to remote health clinics. Each delivery requires a unique approach and an in-depth understanding of the local terrain. So for us, as we go in, we know everything, there are risks in everything. The risks we take is because we want this thing to reach. It's my job. It's what I'm working for. The malaria medication is delivered to major cities. Then it is dispatched via air cargo to regional hubs. Using SIVA's ground transportation capabilities, the packages are transported to local storage facilities. From there, we're ready to make the final last mile deliveries to local villages. When aircraft arrives, by the period the aircraft is arriving, some of us were already, already on ground. So when the aircraft arrives, you're there with the assigned truck. You pick them from the aircraft straight to, to, to a storage where you find in that uh, center. Uh, we pay for storage. We get storage and we get security to, to oversee them. During this period, we are doing this distribution. Our teams label the packages according to which facility they will be stored in. Then, based on local clinic needs and weather, we plan on how best to distribute the medication to local health facilities throughout the region. We do mapping, we do planning. Like we're going to East, how many facilities in the East? We're going to South, how many facilities are here? If there are four, how many, how many uh, what means? do we need, how many vehicles we need, how many people we need to carry this. Time is a constant pressure. We go there, we need to take this quick. Because you know some of these drugs, you're not supposed to keep them uh, under, under high temperature for long. You have to, you have to like, make sure these things reach there on time and you have to find any possible means. And the delivery distances are significant. Some regions, you might go 80 plus kilometers to reach these facilities. Some, it goes more, 150 kilometers to reach these facilities. The situation is always changing on the ground, requiring constant oversight and agility. 
we do surveys. The survey we do is not that uh, we go there. If it's possible, you can go, you can go. But there are some surveys we make through phone calls. You call the people around, how is the area? How is the um, how is this location at the moment? So you are aware already, you know. You find too many checkpoints or want to see what you're carrying and where you're coming in from. Given the nature of small villages and the distances between them, Siva makes many small deliveries to each remote health clinic, calling for careful planning. You don't go with many, you go with one box or two box to this location. Make sure to go and uh, deliver them. We always, and we don't give excuses for that, we make sure we reach to this place by all means. At the end of every journey, each box of medication makes it to a rural community and its healthcare center, delivering hope in the fight against malaria. Through the implementation of innovative logistics solutions, SIVA continues to use logistics for good by serving populations in need. <laughs>